Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. Today it will be a mini tutorial, so it's just a small thing. Someone on Facebook asked me how I we can do uh, a render like this with the mesh overlay here. And this is what I want to show you today. We, I, there are uh, some uh, possibilities, but I do it, I prefer to do it with uh, Photoshop. I do two renders, one uh, clay render and one mesh render, and combine it then in Photoshop. I have, I, there I have more possibilities. Okay, so let's start. Uh, I prepared a scene for this. Yeah. Uh, this scene you will get uh, to download later, so uh, I'll give you the download link in the description if you want to work with this scene. So I see I have double here. don't need it double. Right. So. Okay. Uh, at first we have to render this scene, of course. So I go to my render settings. Here I have my middle settings. Let's look what I did here. Fixed with three should be okay. And an output uh, 1280 is okay too. So we don't need a global illumination. This is okay and this is okay. Okay, let's render this scene. And then we get something like this. Okay. If you don't want in your render this shiny, uh, these reflections here, just go to the object material and disable this reflectance channel here, if you have reflectance. Uh, or you can just drag this stage material on your sphere but I prefer I like it like this so this is our first render we, we uh, just copy this say copy and now we go to Photoshop and here we make a new file and from the uh, from the clipboard we have the dimensions and everything just press OK and now with uh, Control and V on your keyboard, you can paste your picture. So the background we don't need. That's the first part. Second part, we go back to our cinema. And now we need new render settings. So we just want to render uh, this mesh out. So let's go to the render settings again. We make a new render setting. I drag it here. Call it mesh. And here we need a standard render. And we need just the cell render here. And for the cell render we need edges and outlines. So if you want black, uh, a black mesh overlay on your picture, you can leave it like this. Or I prefer a white mesh, so I just make here a white material and here a black colored material. Okay, and because we are in the standard mode, we go to anti-aliasing and go to best. And now we render the output. We need to 80 to 720, okay. And don't forget to click here. So this is activated. And render this mesh. And you will see we have a little problem on our sphere. The reason is this because, I'll show you, so we have here on our sphere clicked. Uh, on prefer uh, render perfect and we don't need render perfect for the mesh. So let's try again 
and now you see we have our mesh. But here we see we have uh, two less subdivisions. So let's go back and increase the subdivisions about 50. And now we render it again. And we have a nice round sphere. Good. Now this is ready. And now we copy this here. So edit, copy, or, or control C. Go back to our Photoshop. Here we just have to, uh, on our keyboard to press control V. And we have our mesh in here. Let's see, 100%. And now, uh, not really, so it's better, okay. Now we go, we need to play with this overlays here with this, and we need here. I I prefer screen, then it looks like this. But you can uh, play. You can go to normal, and you can play with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Now go down, and go through the modes, and whatever you like, you can use here's my screen. But then maybe you'd like it like this, uh, or like this looks good too. You just can play however you want. You have it uh, black. Okay, so I go to screen back. And if you want a black mesh here, just Go on your layer, activate the layer, and press Control I on your keyboard, and you inverted this one. But it's better to to uh, render a black mesh then. Okay, go back here. And now you can do if you want to uh, make a transition from uh, normal render to mesh, you can do here, go to the uh, mask, at the mask, and then here on the this one yeah, gradient tool, you go fr from uh, background to foreground or foreground to background. Okay, a linear overlay, the linear gradient. Be sure you have black and white here, so just click on this small thing here, so it resets everything. And activate the mask and just drag it like... If you hold the shift key, you get a, a straight line here. And make the mask like this, and you see we have a nice transition. Let's see, I want it a little more. And it looks like this. Okay, that's it. It's nothing more. I hope it was helpful for you. I wish you a nice Sunday. And uh, if you have questions or something else, just ask me like the people do. Often, more often. It, it, it becomes better with the questions. Okay. That's it, and you will find every link you need in the description. Bye-bye, and have a nice Sunday.